What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Yuritastic with another LSPDFR tutorial guide. And these tutorials for those people that have GTA 5 and want to play LSPDFR. It's a project that I started and I'm doing just step by step, video by video, showing you how to do different things. Today, we're going to be talking on how to install cars or police cars for LSPDFR. So, specifically, how to install police cars for GTA 5 LSPDFR you know, Crown Victoria, Tauruses, Tahoes, to get rid of those ugly cop cars that come with the game. There are a few steps to it. It's not that complicated. It does take some getting used to, but besides that, it's not that complicated. So let's start off with step number one. You need to go to something called openiv.com. OpenIV.com and you need to download the OpenIV software. Now, of course, I already have it downloaded, but it's pretty simple. Once you download it, you click on the setup, it installs itself. Nothing special over there. Now that you've downloaded and installed OpenIV, you're gonna click on it, gonna open, and you're gonna click GTA 5 for Windows. So you click on GTA 5 for Windows, okay? Now that's done with, we'll come back to this in just a second. Don't let this overwhelm if you've never seen it. This is used to more than just installing police cars. It's used to installing um, characters sometimes, um, other regular cars that I'll cover in future tutorials. But don't let it overwhelm you. We'll come back to this. Now, another necessary thing to do if you plan on installing different mods or different cars or different people, characters, weapons, etc. for GTA 5 is you need to go to your main GTA 5 directory folder. This is where your GTA 5 is installed. In my case, it's under local disk, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto. What you need to do is already have it, but what you need to do is create a new file folder and simply create the, uh, na name that folder mods. Now I can't name it mods because as you can see right here, I already have one that's named mods. It's gonna tell me blah, 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 would you like to? So I'm gonna say no. But mods, nothing else, nothing more. Just create a folder and name it mods. After you create the mods folder, you're gonna hold on the control button, click on times x64 and update, right click them, okay? You're gonna copy, click on mods and paste them in there. This is a very, very important step. Pretty simple, create a new folder, name it mods, copy paste update and x64 or time 64 in your mods folder this might take some while because i believe they're about like six seven gigabytes depends on how fast your computer is so don't be alarmed it does take a little while for them to copy in there but this is an important step now that you now that you've done it let's go back to open iv so now we are back in open iv you need to click on tools up here and you need to go on ISI Manager. I'm sorry, that was ASI Manager. Click on ASI Manager. There's gonna be three things right here you need to make sure to click install on them. And they'll just install, it takes half a second. But you need to make sure those are also installed within OpenIV. So let's recap so far. You've downloaded OpenIV, installed it, opened it up, went to your main GTA 5 directory folder, created a new folder called Mods, Copy pasted update and x64 into the mods folder. Went back to open IV, went to tools, ASI manager, installed the three things. So this is what we're doing so far. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I picked a vehicle that I've never actually installed before. And I've just picked the first one that kind of popped in there, which, which is this one, okay? And which is, I guess it's a pack. So it's gotta be a bunch of vehicles. Now mostly, Almost everybody that has a vehicle model, mostly 80% of people that make these vehicles will have a README file. So make sure you read the README file because some of them, not all, some of them are going to have an extra step. So I've downloaded the vehicle file, I extracted, there it is. So these are different cars that I use for my episodes that I've done before. Here's this one right here, Bay Area Pack. Yep, that it is, and the su screenshots, as you can see, the same, screen the same screenshots you were just seeing in there. Pretty simple, looks pretty nice. I like simplicity in police cars sometimes. I'm actually excited to play this. So this is where we're at right now, okay? Now, how to install police cars for GTA 5 LSPDFR. Now, this is where I had the most hard time when I was doing it. Because 
sometimes the readme files are just a little bit inaccurate so if you go here it tells you literally step by step step by step on how to install a car so it tells you go to gta 5 this is within within open iv so let's do it side by side right here let's do it side by side okay so tell me go gta 5 within open iv or uh, yep so we're in here this is gta 5 up here as you can see and then it's gonna tell you to go to mods update x64 or time 64 whatever you want dlc packs and whatever it says latest patch day now this is where i got confused at first and where you might get confused for whatever reason my latest patch day uh is is not 16 even though that's what it says on here my latest patch day or the patch that i host my cars is 14. somebody else told me that you can indeed put them in the latest patch day but for me i just you know i believe if it ain't broken don't fix it you should go to the latest patch day which is 16 for me but for for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna go how i usually do it so i'm following step by step it's told me mods update 64 dlc mods update 64 dlc latest patch day i'm gonna click on it then you're gonna go dlc again that's what it's telling you after dlc is telling you 64 and then it's telling you levels then it's telling you gta 5 then it's telling you vehicles okay so we literally followed this step by step the read the readme files whoever the creator of this has given you a step-by-step -step readme files which is pretty pretty nice another thing on my channel I'll do pro tools tutorial and people don't follow the steps and come ask questions so make sure you follow questions bxbugs123 how could i forget that's who made this he's he's excellent so now we're here now what well you want to make sure in open iv let's go ahead and make it open iv big here in open iv you want to make sure in the top right hand corner you go into edit mode so edit mode click yes edit mode then you click less how do you know you're gonna edit mode well it's gonna be highlighted blue and what you're gonna do is simply go to the installation files vehicle files and let's go side by side again you're simply gonna click drag and drop click drag drop click drag drop it's just as easy as that We'll launch the game a little bit to make sure they are working properly, but there's one more step that you need to do. Like I've mentioned a little bit ago, some vehicle files are gonna have an extra step. This one seems to have a vehicle.meta file. So what is that? A, a meta file pretty much is to make the car, you know, they don't wanna use the same meta file for this car pack as the as a default game because it might literally tip over when you go over corners it might be too slow too fast and the driving might seem too too light too loose so the vehicles that meta file is, is the creator of this car pack decided to also also change the meta files for it to make sure it's driven this drivability is enjoyable so and like i said not all car packs have this but some of them do so you need to make sure now we're in the meta files and i'm glad this car pack has it because it's like the complete way to install it you go back to his readme and also tells you where the meta files is and once again we're going to go step by step it's right here okay so he's telling us to go to gta 5 we're here he's telling you to go mods update update dot dot rpf then he's telling you go common data levels gta 5 and boom there's a vehicle meta file just like the other one you just click and drag and we just got his vehicle meta files now that's what you do and of course most of you guys i'll do a tutorial on how to how to install els for uh, lspdf4 but most of you guys are probably probably installing els files or ELS cars files he this guy also included in there so if you don't include this it's called VCF files if you don't include this into this file then your lights won't work properly and I'll show you which file I'm talking about here okay so you which file I'm talking about it is the ELS file pack default I already have them you only need to do this once you don't need to do it for every car but here for the sake of this tutorial once again i'll just click and drag boom replace destination and here we go so what this is pretty much is just making sure that the lights 
work for ELS. Now, before I do the summary and give you the last pointers, let's go in the game and make sure that this works and the car vehicles have indeed worked. All right, guys, so here I am in the game, and as you can see, the car has worked. I didn't put, obviously, the whole pack because he had sheriffs and uh, park rangers, all this stuff, but I just wanted to show you that they have indeed worked. These are these are simple, pretty simple stuff. I know at first it might seem overwhelming, but once you do it like maybe four or five times, you get the hang of it. It's gonna be pretty easy. Of course, you do need ELS for certain cars. If you don't, make sure you go on the website and put non-ELS cars, uh, which I'll do an ELS tutorial. Uh, this is part of my ELS or uh, LSPDFR tutorial help guide that I'm doing. So I'll be doing covering everything that you need for LSPDFR. So with that being said, guys, these are the steps. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you do subscribe if you haven't. More videos coming soon. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I am out.